G'day guys and welcome to another Blender Buzz tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make StarCraft minerals and you can use these for whatever projects you want. And I've been working on this and I think you guys will really like it. So um, let's get right into the tutorial. To get started we're going to open up a recent in Blender. Okay? And what I'm going to go um, do is go ahead and just delete everything in the scene. I should probably go ahead and just enable my screencast keys so you guys can see what I'm doing. And what I'm going to go um, ahead and do now is add mesh and with the shape we want to add is a cylinder. Now before you do anything make sure you go here to where it says vertices and I, we want to make this five vertices like so okay because this is going to be the amount of faces on the side that our, um, our crystals actually have. So now that we've done that I'm going to go ahead go to my front orthographic view and in edit mode I'm going to go into my wireframe with everything selected and I'm going to move this guy just to where the pivot point is in the bottom and the reason we do that is when we're in object mode and we want to quickly size a crystal down you know we can just do it on that point and it doesn't just size up here in um, the air so it does it nice on the floor and now that I'm done with that I'm probably just go back into edit mode quickly and I'm going to go ahead and um, my front orth um, orthographic view just select these top vertices Pull them up like so, size it, extrude up on the Z, size it in, and I'm going to go ahead and go, um, can, I think, I believe it is W, and yep, you press W, and you go merge and you merge at center. And here we have our crystal, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and delete this bottom face like so. And um, one more thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add a, um, I th believe, a bevel modifier okay and I'm gonna play around with the width and we can play around with it later on a bit more to give a random variation per crystal but for now I'm just gonna increase the segments to free and I'm gonna enable smooth shading and there we have our first crystal I might make the width smaller um, but I do want our crystal to be a little bit round because I found when it comes to the lighting it creates a nicer effect later on so I'm gonna go to my front orthographic view now and um, one thing I also want to do is add some variation to the crystal so it doesn't just look too perfect. So um, once again, I'm going to go into my wireframe mode. I'm going to go control R here. And I'm going to make about two loop cuts or three of them. And then go ahead and just select individual vert vertices and turn on my proportional editing. And I'm going to go ahead and just move this one out a bit. Move this in a bit like so. Maybe pull this. And we're essentially just creating some random variation for the crystal, like so. Okay, that looks cool. And I'm going to go ahead in front and go Shift Duplicate, right click to let go, and I'm going to R Rotate, size this one in, move it here, and I'm going to just go ahead and add some randomness to this one. Maybe move a point, rotate a point a little bit, move it here. Okay, and. I'm going to just keep doing that essentially. I'm going to shift duplicate, right click, rotate this one, move it here, go into edit mode, maybe move this point out further so it's a bit longer and I'm going to size it down. And we're just going to keep doing that. I'm going to go to my right orthographic view, go shift duplicate, move this one here, go in here, and pull this one here, we'll put it here, size it in a little bit. I'm just going to keep doing this essentially. Um, I know this is a little bit boring, a little bit tedious, but um, yeah, I, I think you guys will really enjoy it. Um, it's always fun making a project, and I think um, sometimes just taking time to do something can be relaxing, and it, it gives you something to do in your spare time. I mean, if you have some spare time, you know, some people like to read a book, you know, some people like to watch movies, and I like to just come sometimes and just model something, not even necessarily to um, show it off to people, but just, you know, to just express my artistic um, visions and you know see what I can make for today. I'm just going to quickly put a plane here and the reason I'm doing that is just so I can have some reference to where the floor is. You can see this guy's kind of needs to go down a little bit and um, this one I should probably bring that one in a little bit like so because um, I don't want I don't want um, there to be a gap right. Maybe bring this one in like so as well. Let's go to my right again and I know I need to come shift duplicate, make some this side. Okay, I'm gonna give some random variation to this one, Oop. like so. Okay, and 
and then um, probably go to my top view, shift duplicate, rotate this one, G, size it in. And I think that's looking pretty good. And um, maybe make a small few little ones, shift duplicate, rotate there, G, like so. And what I'm going to go do now is make some random groups here. So I'm going to grab this one, maybe this one, this one. Um, go shift duplicate to the side here. And with the big one selected, I'm going to go control J to join it. And then I'm going to go in edit mode. Select one of these vertices, go control L, shift duplicate, right click to let go. And just make, um, whoops, disable proportional editing. Go here, rotate it like so. Size it, bring it in like so. And then quickly enable proportional editing. And this is just to make some of the background ones. Um, and they don't need to be as detailed or anything because they're going to be kind of out of focus and not really going to be anything major. So yeah, it looks okay. Maybe shift duplicate it again. Rotate one like so. Rotate like that. Size it in a little bit. That's like a little group that sits here. I think that looks um, okay for now. And that looks, that's something good to work with. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to where it says Blender Render. I'm gonna make it cycles like I always do. And um, I don't think we ever actually use Blender Render. <laughs> I think I should do a tutorial on that one of these days. Um, so yeah, in cycles, I'm gonna go ahead, go to my front orthographic view. I'm gonna go add a camera, right? Um, press zero on my number pad or just go view camera. And then press G, middle mouse wheel, pull back. And then G to move up. Like so, okay. And I'm gonna go to my uh, camera settings. Um, I enable my GPU, like I always do. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and just put this at 1280 by 720. And you can make whatever dimensions you want. I mean, you don't have to do it like me. Make it 100%, enable border, and then crop. Go to world settings, use nodes, and make it a solid black. And if I render now, you're not gonna see anything, because of course there's no lights in our scene. But guess what? There doesn't have to be any lights in that scene because the crystals themselves are actually going to be um, an emitting material. So I'm going to go here, create new material, and I'm going to call it crystal. Okay. And to do the work here, I'm actually going to go to my compositing, go to my camera view down here, and then go to my notes um, tab here. And you can see it's a diffuse white. I'm just going to go ahead, get a shader, get an emission, get rid of the diffuse, and also get a glass, right? and put the emission at the top. I'm gonna to get a mix shader. And I'm gonna mix these two here. Put this one here. And I'm also gonna go ahead and get a layer weight. Plug it into the factor. And get a color ramp node. So here's our setup. A, frame, um, a layer weight, color ramp plugged into the factor, emission, a glass, mix shader, and an output. It's that simple. And if we render this now, we're gonna see it looks something like that. Um, let's just quickly plug our color, um, our layer weight into here. Oop. I might have to quickly add a light just for now. So lamp light, sun, G, rotate. Okay. Um, maybe get a um, just a diffuse. Put it in here. Okay, now re um, preview render that and just go ahead and play around with these settings here. Hmm. Maybe I should try the facing. Just plug it in back into the factor, get rid of the diffuse, and um, we'll just essentially play around with these settings here. Bring them closer together, maybe. Swap these guys around. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to put the glass down um, at the top socket and the emission down the bottom. And we're gonna go ahead and make the emission color kind of bluish like this. Increase the strength to two. And I'm also gonna go ahead and just see what I can do here. Yeah, play around with these settings here. And to get a better view, I'm just gonna um, better look on things. I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one and then holding and shift select these other little shards as well. And then select the big one last, and then go Control L, and then um, link the materials. And now they're all going to have that material. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, just select the, any crystal. I'll take my to my material still here, 
And I'm just gonna play around with these settings here and play around with the fall off. I think, I think that looks good. And you can obviously make it the way you want. I'm happy with this for now. I'm maybe gonna make this more of a Starcraft kind of mineral blue. What's that? Something, yeah, something around there. And um, another thing I'm gonna do is go back to my default and get rid of this lamp now. And I'm gonna go with my cursor still in the center here. Just make sure my cursor's in the center. Add lamp, area lamp. I'm gonna rotate it on the X 180. I'm gonna increase the size, right? Lift it up like so. I'm gonna increase the strength and make it blue, okay? Look at the camera now, and you can see we have that. Maybe decrease the strength a bit. Okay, decrease the size. That's in there. Okay, that's what I want. That looks good. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and give this um, select one of these crystals. In fact, I'm just gonna make this one thing. So I'm just gonna grab this guy, hide it, select all of these, deselect the lamp, select the big one last and go control J. That's one object now. And these these guys as well, one object, control J. Go to my camera, um, select this guy here, just look at it. Oh, yeah, I think that looks quite good. Um, okay, just Alt H to get that back. Okay, now we're ready to quickly go into the compositor. So I'm gonna select my crystal with my material here. Select that and go settings. I'm gonna make this pass index of one. I'm gonna go to my layers tab here, go to passes. I'm gonna enable material index. Go to my camera here and quickly render, okay? And what this is gonna do now, it's gonna quickly render this out, okay? And then we're going to go to our compositor, and I'm going to use the material ID to add an effect to this. Because it's really going to be that effect that really sells this and makes it look good. So I'm going to show you how we do that when this is done rendering, and I'll um, be back. Okay, so it's done rendering now, so I'm going to go ahead to my compositing. I'm going to go here to my Layers tab, Use Nodes, and also Enable Backdrop. And I'm just going to go ahead and get a Viewer node, okay? Put it here, plug in the image. Then holding in shift, I'm just gonna cut these two together. Okay, and then I'm gonna press V to zoom out a little bit or Alt V to zoom in. I'm just gonna zoom out. I'm also gonna go ahead and um, now add uh, ID. So I'm gonna go search, ID, ID mask. Plug the material index in here, make it one. Get a mix, a mix node. Put the alpha into the factor. Put the image here into one of these sockets and then plug this into there, okay? And then I'm gonna make the top one black like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a glare effect, put it in here. It's automatically set to streaks. I'm going to turn the threshold all the way down to zero. And I'm also going to go ahead and make this fog glow. Okay. Then I'm going to shift duplicate the glare node. And I'm going to make this um, simple star. And I'm going to increase the threshold. Okay. And I'm going to inc in um, increase the um, iterations okay what do I want to increase here um, just make it streaks sorry not simple star okay I want to have um, six streaks okay and I want to have um, some now leave the iterations just um, play around with the threshold okay I think that's good yeah just make make the threshold like nine because it's we don't want too much of that um, I think that's good for now. And then I'm just going to go ahead and grab this mix here, shift duplicate, bring it here. Just uh, move these guys up, put it in here, make it an add, and then bring the image here and plug it in there, like so. Okay. And what it's done now is just add it in the background again. And um, yeah, keep increasing the threshold. That's a bit too much. Um, you know, maybe I should make, sorry, make this one um, uh, streaks. Okay, De increase the threshold. Maybe like so. And then make a disc glare, a fog, a fog glow. And make the threshold like nine, point nine. Okay, and I think that looks much better. So I'm gonna go back to my default here. And I'm gonna go ahead just control to get out of here. Grab the lamp again. I think that's a little bit too strong. I'm just going to make this like 500. And then I'm going to quickly go ahead and size up this plane here. Okay. Size it on the X quite a bit. 
go to my edit mode, grab these guys, go to my right view, orthographic, and just extrude this like so. And we're essentially just making our uh, backdrop. Okay. And uh, the camera's kind of cut out here. So in my camera settings, I'm just going to go, um, I think there's, you can make, you can fix that by, um, it's the camera's kind of cutting out. There's settings here where you can play around with the camera clipping. Um, where do I do that? I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. Um, I just leave that. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select everything in the scene. Uh, I'm going to go um, to 3D cursor mode. Make sure my cursor is in the center. I'm just going to size everything down. And now go into camera view. And now I can say it works. I'm just going to quickly go to medium point again. Go size X. And then grab those extrude up like so. Okay. Maybe move it there. Okay, and I'm going to rotate this camera down, size this on X a bit. I just want to fill all that in, enable smooth shading. G, Z, Y, bring this in a bit, size it, rotate it like so, bring it here. Oops, make sure the lamp's also selected. Okay, maybe bring it here like so, rotate it. Like I like the way that looks. And I'm going to add a material to this one as well, the crystal material. And I'm going to move this one here like so. Okay. Um, I think I think this one I'll make it my focus one where the camera focuses. Okay, because I think this one looks quite nice actually. And I'm going to sh shift duplicate this lamp and just put it under there as well. Okay. Like so. Go to my camera view and then select this guy and this lamp. Shift duplicate G Y. G Y. Oops, I think I did just grab this and the lamp. Shift D, right click will go and then G Y. There we go. Uh, maybe move this one like so. The lamp here. Let's have a look at that. Like so. Okay, I think that looks good. And to clean up the noise a little bit, I'm going to go here to where my camera settings are. I've got to go to sampling. I'm going to set the preview to 120 for now. And just leave the render samples to 128 at the top. I'm going to go to my clamp settings here and make it 4. Make this one 4. I'm also going to go to light paths, turn off um, reflective and caustics. And I'm going to make the filter glossy 7. Okay, So this sh should render a lot cleaner now. Also going to go ahead and select the floor, give it a material, new. I'm just going to make it black, okay, like so. And I think that is it for now. What I might also do is just go to compositing, and to go to my materials. Just make this one slightly glossy. So shader, mix, mix shader. Um, I'm going to get a glossy, glossy shader here. Plug this in here. And then just bring this value down. Go to preview. Okay, bring it up. And then make the roughness all the way. Maybe like so. Okay, I think that looks good. Mm. Like so. Okay. Something like that. And then I'm going to go to my default. I'm going to give this a quick render and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so um, here we have the final render. Now, um, like, I, um, like I said before, this is just um, to show you guys how to actually make the little minerals. We didn't really make any scene because um, you guys can put it in whatever scene you want. You know, if you have like a Star Starcraft kind of scene, maybe you want to put it in there or something. Or like a alien planet with glowing crystals. But anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. And um, yeah, another thing I want to say, if, if you want to, you can click on this link right here, okay? And that's going to take you to the Facebook community group for Blender Buzz. And there you'll get informed about a lot of um, cool things, and you'll be able to chat and talk. And I think um, you'll really like the group. So if you want to join that, go ahead. And uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And also, I now have a website that has paid courses that are really affordable and really good. So if you want to, you can also go ahead and look in the description below for the website and go have a look at that. Okay, so I'll um, see you guys later. And thank you for watching.